One of the things we need to be able to do is test how reliable a claim is that is made in the media. There are three types of claims that we need to be familiar with, and identifying which type of claim we are looking at is really important. The reason we have a margin error is because we have taken a sample. A sample is never going to perfectly represent the population, so we need to allow for this in our claims. The bigger the sample size is, the more reliable the estimates we get from it are likely to be. For example, if we ask a group of 10 people, we're likely to be a lot less certain than if we ask a group of 100 or 1000. It can be helpful to visualise the margin of error like this. In this, we can see that our estimate is in the middle, and the margin of error can go in both directions from that. So we can have a bit going down, which gives us the lower limit of our confidence, and the margin of error going up gives us that upper confidence limit. The point estimate is what we get from our sample, and the margin of error is how much we expect the point estimate to potentially be out by. This means we can be reasonably confident the value for the population is somewhere between the lower confidence limit and the upper confidence limit. There are three types of claims that we look at. The first one is no comparison, which is with one group. This is where we're given a statement like 55% of people think that dot dot dot. We can have a comparison within one group. This is where we're comparing two answers within one question asked to one group. For example, 15% more people think dot 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 than dot dot dot. The third type is comparison between two independent groups. This is where we have asked two separate groups a question. For example, 15% more boys think blah 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 than girls. For each of these claims there is a different formula to use and a different interpretation. There are two rules that always hold true though. The bigger the sample, the smaller the margin of error. This is really important to remember. The reverse is also true. The smaller the sample, the larger the margin of error. The other thing to remember is these rules only work if the percentage from the sample is between 30 and 70%. That is because the rules are based off 50%, and from around 30% to 70% they're still pretty close. Outside of that range, the margin of error is much smaller. This is because the further away from 50% you get, the smaller the margin of error.